Quick and easy tutorial, here we go. For this demonstration I use the free tool Fan Control from RM Software. Link is in the description below. Step 1. Set a fan to 100% and run Prime95. Select maximum heat generation and wait until the temperature stabilizes. That's your maximum point. If you have any headroom here, like I do, reduce the maximum RPM to a lower level. Remember that Prime95 is a synthetic workload which is unlikely to be reached under normal daily conditions. Step 2. Let the CPU idle and reduce the fan speed until the CPU fan is really silent. In the best case you can't hear it anymore. Now check your temperatures. If they are okay, like in my case here, continue to the next step, which is number 3. Set the response time to, for example, 5 seconds. This will not let the fan rev up until the CPU keeps generating heat for more than the given amount of time. As a result, you'll get a rather steady fan speed instead of being annoyed by constantly fluctuating RPM. Do a quick test again to make sure your response time is okay and the CPU doesn't get too hot until the fans rev up. Step 4. Let the CPU idle again and set your fan speed to zero. Open and close your browser to simulate some light load and check whether the fans want to rev up or not. In this case we're at a critical point, so I move it to a slightly higher temperature. And that's it, we're done. Everything is nice and quiet. But remember, your curve might look very different, especially if you're using a bigger cooling solution. This is a little Noctua here, placed inside a tiny Johnsbow C2 case without any case fans. If your CPU cooler is bigger and you have a better airflow, your curve will rather look like this. This means the fans won't spin at all under light load, will spin slowly under most gaming conditions, and will only rev up above 50% if you're putting your CPU under heavy workload. So that's it for today. If you're interested in a free and simple tool, then check out Fan Control and give it a try. If you want more options and monitoring functionality, then check out Argus Monitor. Links are in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you next time. <laughs>